Hello and welcome to another BME Design Studio instructional video, today being in the advanced series where we'll cover how to make QR codes on a laser cutter. This video is designed for individuals who have been trained on a laser cutter and are self-sufficient at this time, so let's get started. We've got this old sign here that I engraved a while back on a clear piece of acrylic. And I not only want to mount this to the laser cutter, but I also want to embed a QR code on it so that students can walk right up, take a picture, and be routed right to the instructional video for that piece of equipment. And the best place to start would be on our phones and making QR codes. I've downloaded the QR Reader app, and here I'm able to create the QR code itself. I'll go to Add, I'll select Website, and I have this YouTube video that I've previously made for the instructional video on the laser cutter. I'll copy its URL, paste it within the QR code app, and then click Create in the top right corner. After creating the QR code, I want to make sure it works, so I will preview to see what website that QR code sends me to. It looks like it works well, it sends me right back to that video that I want students to be able to access. And for reference, I've included a link to that video in the comments for this one, so you can quickly access it. And the next thing for us to do is to change the title to something meaningful. So let's rename it. I'll call it Laser Cutter Instructional. I'll click Save in the top right corner. And the next thing for us to do is to email it to ourselves. And then I'll print it out to test on a LaserJet printer. Here's a view from my phone after printing it out. And you can see that even just getting an oblique view brings us to the web page. Success. Now we're ready to take it to the next step for the laser cutter. Open up the QR code in Photoshop. And then what we'll have to do is invert the image, and that means swapping the black and white pixels. The reason for that is because most laser cutter platforms indicate rastering with a black pixel. And remember that when you raster on a piece of acrylic, that's what actually turns up white. So within Photoshop itself, let's do that. Let's invert the image. And after doing so, this is what it looks like. Now what's left for us to do is to crop and size the image appropriately for our test. And when we're done, we'll save the image and transfer it to the laser cutter machine so that we can open it in CorelDRAW here. Once in CorelDRAW, we'll import, size, and color the part accordingly. We'll build a cut box around it, and then we'll go get ready to print. First, as you know, we'll have to measure the size of the acrylic we'll use. We'll make that measurement, insert it into the software, turn on the air filtration unit, load your material, close the enclosure, and let the engraving begin. So here's our finished test piece. And this is a good time to put up side by side the modified Photoshop file. And I encourage you to pause the video here to ensure that you fully understand how the laser cutter interprets black versus white pixels and what the output appears to be. Let's test our part. Well, that was a success. Let's see what happens with other types of acrylic. Now that we have our beautiful array, let's test them out. A little delayed, but we got it. After seeing they all worked on the wood background, I then tried it on black, off-white, and gray. Well, I've been quite impressed with how robust this process is. Given that they all worked and the transparent ones were slightly slower, I'm going to go with the black one for our final sign. So now it's time to make it.
Project completed. Now that it's centered and mounted to the machine, the only thing that's left is to have a student test it out. Success. Let the learning begin. Well, this concludes our video in the advanced series on embedding QR codes with the laser cutter. As always, never hesitate to reach out to instructors with any questions. Hopefully this showed you that the laser cutter is quite a versatile tool. And stay tuned for more videos showing you just how useful it can be for your prototyping.